Alright guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be cleaning my solid gold jewelry and I decided to come here to show you guys this method because this is the best method to use from home. I personally don't do anything extra when it comes to cleaning my solid gold jewelry. They are precious to me. I don't like to experiment too much with them. I always like to use like the safest method, which is what I'm going to be showing you today and it actually works. So these right here are the solid gold jewelry that I wore during the fall and winter season. So we are in spring now. We are in April 2022. So I want to um, clean them out because um, if you know me, you know that I'm a kind of person that likes to keep my jewelry on. I don't like switching my jewelry often. So when I have a particular set on, when I say set, I mean I do I usually do um, a, a necklace, pendant, earrings, and bracelet and rings um, for like a month or two, sometimes before I switch them up if I'm not going anywhere. Without my solid gold jewelry, I feel naked, you know? So I never, I mean, you can, I can never be caught without um, jewelry set on at every point in time, that's my person. I'm about to clean them out, so I wanna share with you the best and the safest way for you to clean your solid gold jewelry by yourself. All you need are already in your house. You don't have to purchase anything. So I'm gonna be showing you at the beginning of this video, I actually listed out, you know, the items that you will need. So I hope you grabbed the screenshot. I also put it in the description section below for you. So you can, you know, pick these pieces in your house and be ready to clean your solid gold jewelry by yourself. So yeah, these are the pieces that I'm gonna be cleaning. Um, you see what they look like. I'm, I wanna try to zoom in on one of them. So this particular one I had on the most that one that right there I had on the most the one with the dollar sign pendant I had on the most I think I had this one on for like two months so when I say it is due for cleaning trust me it is due for cleaning you know and how do you know that your solid gold jewelry are due for cleaning it's when they begin to you know look dull you know when they don't shine as much you know that's when you would know that they are due for cleaning so yeah I'm gonna be um, cleaning the species with you guys I just wanted to you know drop in that intro um, if you are new here thank you so much for clicking this video uh, my name is Buki I make videos about luxury handbags and um, solid gold jewelry if any of those two things are the things that you love feel free to join the family here we do have a lot of fun we share a lot of tips we help ourselves how to make the best decision when it comes to our luxury handbag and solid gold jewelry purchase and if you do not know already I do have a solid gold jewelry store yes I love it so much that I actually have my own store where I sell pure 18 karat solid gold jewelry pieces so if you are interested feel free i'm gonna put a link below to my store in the description section for you so feel free to go ahead and you know buy from my store if you see any pieces that you like and also if you want to see all these pieces in details i have actually made like a couple of videos in the past you know showing you guys all the pieces in details whenever i had new pieces to my collection i always come here to share with you guys so in case you want to see what my collection looks like i'll be linking the videos for you below as well i don't want to drag this video for too long i just want to jump right into it so speaking of the of the high terms you're gonna need so the first item in no particular order is um baking soda um yeah, I do have this big gigantic bag in my house. I usually never run out because I use baking soda for a lot of cleaning. So yeah, you're gonna need um, baking soda. And that right there is um, my kit um, baking soap. All you need is a mild soap. So feel free to use like a mild dishwashing soap or any soap that is mild, that is extremely mild, you know. I always go for baby um wash and uh, shampoo or whatever i always go for my kids soap because they are they are um their bathing soap is gentle on the skin anyways so i always go for so i always use their bathing soap so that right there is the soap that i'm going to be using if you don't have one get this one in particular and keep it in the house for this purpose or if you already have one you use on your kid's skin, feel free to use that. Another thing, another item you're gonna need is a bowl, obviously. So that right there is a bowl that I have in my house. It actually got damaged at that part and I decided to keep it in the house for this purpose. So I mostly use it to wash my jewelry. And another thing you're gonna need is hot water. So right there is just like an electronic kettle. Um, there is water in it. 
so we're gonna need hot water um, not necessarily boiling water all you need is hot water because you're gonna have to wait for the water to get warm anyways before you start washing your jerry pieces so another item you're gonna need is um, a toothbrush so this one I have right here is you know one of my kits again you know nothing major it's not hard or anything it's just you know it's a super soft um toothbrush so you're gonna need one of those to do the scrubbing of the pieces so one thing you might notice is I also have my wedding ring you know as part of this pieces I'm gonna be washing sincerely speaking if I could clean my wedding ring on a daily basis I would you know I just love it when it sparkles like I love it when the diamonds are alive you know right now the diamonds are looking dull you really can't tell that I have like 135 pieces of diamond on my wedding ring I take pride in that don't mind me so yeah <laughs> but give me some minute let me watch this beautiful piece for you and you would see the difference so yeah um without dragging this part of this video for too long i think it's about time for us to jump right into washing our jerry pieces all right so the water is boiling now i'm just gonna stop it because we don't really need like 100 boiling water to do this we just need the water to be hot enough so I'm just going to grab like two teaspoons of the baking soda in the bowl is what I'm about to do now. I think this is about enough, you know. And then I'm just going in with the water and you definitely will get that. Then I will just drop in like a little bit of the soap that i i'm going to use so just dropped in a little bit now i can go in with my jerry pieces i'll just dump it all in all right now it's been sitting in here for about 10 minutes so i think it should be fine so just to check i think the water is cool enough for me to hold it and i think you know the water has changed so the dirt are uh, out you know a little bit so um, yeah now we can start washing so I'm just putting the soap here on the table so yeah um, if you can see the water has changed and the water is also now cool enough for me to start washing so the dirts are coming out gradually from the pieces so what i'm gonna do now is pick each piece and wash them i'll be starting with the tiny with the smaller pieces then i go to the chain so what i'm doing now is i just pick the brush i touched like a little bit of soap so now i'm just gonna be washing you know each piece is like so so it's what i'm doing right now So I specifically spent time washing this one and I'm washing it because it's thick and um, yeah, it has more tendency of um, saving up dirt in the loop than um, the other ones. So just FYI, I'm going to be spending a long time cleaning this one, a longer time actually. I'm going to be spending a longer time cleaning this one. I believe that's actually the last piece that I have to clean. So now, yeah, I have to double check and double make sure because we don't want to flush any, we don't want to flush any, any gold pieces down the drain. So I'm doing this now to double make sure that I don't have any extra piece that I've not yet picked up. So yeah, so what I'm going to do now is dump this water. Then we can rinse out these pieces and see what they look like after. Alright, so now we are going to be rinsing the pieces that we have just washed. They are right here on this paper towel. They are all um, 
washed so what I'm doing now is I am dumping the water that we had left in the bowl then I will dump all the jewelry pieces in that water to rinse and um, yeah with nothing it's just the water and the jerry pieces is all I have in that bowl. So what I'm doing now is rinsing the pieces in the water individually and placing them on the paper towel. Ooh, guys, you don't wanna see this shine. I'm gonna try as much, I'm gonna try as much as I can to show you like how shiny they are now. I love to do this a lot. It makes, uh, like when I, you know, do this, it usually looks like I have new pieces, you know, in my collection, but no, they are old pieces, but old washed pieces, if that makes any sense. The shine is really, 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 really lovely, you know, so I am happy and I'm usually very, very happy to do this. So I'm just laying them flat, you know, just rings, rings, rings with my hands, nothing much, just rings, rings, rings. Make sure the soap is hot and just placing them on the paper towel. And for you to know the number of pieces that you have, trust me, especially in the soapy water, you don't want to, um, you don't want to pour out your jerry pieces by mistake <laughs> it's personally i i can i can break that drain to get it you know because imagine this one is so 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 tiny imagine it going through the drain like i will cry it is tiny but then you know most of the pieces that i have are super unique you know so there is no assurance that if i try to look for them i'll find them again now and it's not really it's not 100 about that it's also about the fact that i've spent a lot of money to buy these pieces and you know i can't just let them go down the drain like that so you might want to make sure that you know the number of pieces you are cleaning so you don't mistakenly pour any one of them out especially in the soapy water down the drain so yeah these are all the pieces i'm done washing them so see how shiny they are now like whoa yeah so um in a nutshell so this is the easiest the best and the safest way for you to clean out your jewelry pieces these pieces are clean now and i can actually wear them for another one to two months you know non-stop actually when i say wear them for one to two months for the pieces that i change you know that i just put on for occasions or to church or anything i don't really have to clean them you know on a routine i'm talking about the pieces that i do not take off at all so for the pieces that you put on without taking off if you are that kind of person like me who likes to have a particular set on for a certain period of time this will allow you to wear your jewelry pieces for another one to two months you are able to use this method to retain the shine on your solid gold jewelry pieces for as long as one to two months this is how i clean my solid gold jewelry pieces i have promised to share it with you now i have done that so feel free if you have additional questions please let me know if you have anything else you want me to talk about when it comes to solid gold jewelry pieces do not hesitate to let me know so yeah um yeah that's all about today's video thank you so much for watching until we see you again i hope you remember blessed and i wish you peace